I'm an attorney, and I get paid well for what I do. Sometimes that means looking the other way. But I draw the line at taking a toddler hostage. Well, you try to kill us when we're risking Jake. I thought my employers would kill me if Sam succeeded. Well, you're still breathing, aren't you? Only because Andre is dead, and they have no one else to manage the ground. But it's only a matter of time. So, you're going to finance my escape. And in exchange, I'll tell you where to find Sam. I don't know if she's not already dead. You don't. But she was alive when I last saw her, not even an hour ago. Continue to waste time, and she will likely not survive. You don't trust me. I don't trust you either. But desperation makes for strange bedfellows. So as a matter of good faith, I'm going to let you in on something that you might like to know. You've hurt the syndicate. They're beginning to question the wisdom of setting up a shop in Port Charles. Send the right message, and they will most likely cut their losses and move on. I plan to be far away when that happens. So, do we have a deal? Yeah, Bernie. Go ahead and send it now. Thank you. I gave you what you wanted. Tell me where Sam is. I'm so relieved to get out of this place. My one consolation is knowing that you will beat those sons of bitches that I... Okay, okay, okay. Tell me where Sam is. Tell, I, I gave you what you wanted. Tell me where she is. Boyd. Come on, tell me. Wrong. Fine, then I'm just, you know, I'm just checking in to see if Stone Cold had reported in in the last half hour or so. Oh, no, 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 not a big deal, not a big deal at all. Just stop. Uh, now I'll just sit around and eat potato chips and drink refreshing orange soda until the master's inevitable and timely return. Yeah, thank you, bye. Oh, God. Um, yes, uh, Bernie Fison 1 says I, the Jackal, we are DEFCON 1 Red Alert. Yes, DEFCON 1 Red Alert. We're, um, cancel. Defcon one red alert. Repeat. Cancel. Def who, who is that? Bernie. Uh, yes. Uh, affirmative. I thought you'd walk into an ambush. I did. Place uh, uh, untraceable call nine one one. Okay. Tell him there's a a body. Pier fifty two. The sniper took out Sasha right before she was going to tell him where Sam is. It's done. Okay. Now see what you can find out about White Rock. Uh, but, uh, one word or two. I don't know. Um, is it a business home or a landmark? Really, I don't know that either. I, I just know that it's close to here, and I know that Sasha said to me, White Rock, and I think that's where Sam is, so find something. Where are Okay, uh, even a refined search within a 20-mile radius provides disparate and multiple results. There's, there's a machine shop, a clothing store, even a winery. Yeah, hold on, hold on. All right. Sasha told me that her men grabbed Sam and drove her out of... Town. Okay, do they indicate in which direction? No, no, but she, but she said that Sam escaped, she ran away, the men went after her, and then she said that Sam had fallen and trapped herself. Meaning something fell on her, she got tangled in vines and ens I ensnared in a heartless trap for woodland creatures? Okay, you know what, check, check parks, check uh, mines, check quarries, just check everything right outside of town. Okay, uh, okay, here's, uh, here's something, uh, it's a quarry that's been closed for a number of years, it was best known for producing white granite. Get me a map. Eighty-three bottles of beer on the wall. Oh. Eighty-three bottles of beer. Oh. Take one. Eighty-three bottles of beer on the wall.
found you. It's okay, you're gonna be all right. Phone call? You okay? Yeah, I was just... I was in the throes of a most unsettling dream about your nocturnal mission. The difficulty of which is written on your face. It's, uh, it's over. The evil doors have been dispatched. The Russians are pulling out of town. So the threat has been removed, order has been restored, and, and now you can reconcile with Mr. Sir. While monitoring police reports last night, I couldn't help but notice reports of multiple explosions at syndicate-controlled warehouses, carefully placed charges that touched not a blade of neighboring grass, but caused utter destruction. Stone Cold descended under the cloak of darkness like the goth god of Zoon on the evil tour. The Russians lost the only local players they had who knew the territory, so the smart business move for them is to get the hell out of town. Quiet. What are you looking for? What is this? A preemptive strike? You, you came to take Sunny out? No, I'm here to talk to Sunny. Why are you acting so weird? What are you talking about? You're the one who stole the business and now you're going to break into the what house? What are you talking you... about? I didn't steal anything from me. You're the one searching his house. What? I'm, I'm sorry. Were you spying on me uh, too? No, it's a habit. I check a room before I walk inside and you're the one searching the place. So what exactly is it you're looking for? I, I don't know how I feel about you, and I don't think Sonny does either, but I, I have stuff to do. Hey. Want to see Robin? Wish you well on a wedding day. You decide to stay away this time too, huh? What are you doing here? I ran the Russians out of town. And you got your revenge against Karpov and you're safe. And you don't need the Zakars. So please, Sonny, I'm, I'm asking you to end that alliance. And walk away. You, you want me to quit the cigars? Yeah. I mean, it'd be nice if it was something you wanted to do, too. Well, I, I got no ties with the cigars, and as far as Claudia, that, it can easily be fixed. Great, then, then do it. Maybe I will. Are, are, are you saying you're going to let me back in to my organization? Why do we have to do this every time? My position hasn't changed. I'm running things and that's how it's going to stay. Okay, I'm not going to ask you again, but the thing is, if, if I had nothing else, why would I give up my position as head of this car? What, what are, you, are you serious? You need reasons? Yes. How about you can't get any dirtier than those people? I mean, come on, Sonny, you and I have done some bad things, but a line has to be drawn somewhere. Anthony Zakhar never even bothered. Anthony's not in charge. You can't trust him! Or Trevor or Rick. I thought you knew this. See, now you're acting like you care, and you really don't care. Go back you to your own business. I'm trying to avoid the conflicts that are going to come up between you and me. How far are you willing to push this? I'm sure. It's, a, it's amazing how much you've changed. You never give a damn about power. You, you went out of your way to avoid taking it. But now, out of nowhere, power has, has overcome you. It's, it's not true. No, it's not true? No, it's yeah, not. You, you gave me the organization, did you not? Once that happened, it was my responsibility to run the organization the best way I can. It's amazing how you justify everything. But see, everybody's always said to me, you know, own up to who you are. That's what you should do. Well, you know what? I'm here right now, Sonny, trying to save this. Because I don't want to have to go against you. Well, I don't want to have to go against you either. So let's work this out right now. Do you want to work it out? You 
yeah, go, go ahead and land the shipment. Pier 17. You, you would challenge me like that? Today of all days. Don't you even remember? You think I don't know it's my son's birthday? That I don't think about him every day of my life? First thing in the morning, last thing at night, you think I don't agonize? Over the life he got and... I don't need you to remind me of the guilt that I carry every day of my life. This is not me giving an inch. <clears throat> but in Michael's memory, and out of respect for how much he loved you, I'm not going to stop the shipment. If it happens again, I will stop the shipment and I will be prepared to do what I need to do. It's really, really quite amusing. I mean, the truth about little Michael Corinthos is right under his father's nose. Sonny might stumble upon it and find out that you're behind that whole nasty incident. But I can understand that by now you're anxious to start the game. So I made the first clue a really easy one. The first DVD is hidden in the window to your soul. <laughs> I mean, that's presuming that you have a soul. So, we'll find out soon enough. Psycho. Psycho. I don't know what you're looking for. Aren't you supposed to be landing a shipment? Okay, I confess, you caught me. I was measuring the drapes. With your bare hands? <laughs> it doesn't have to be accurate, exactly. Yeah. Just yet. So, uh, it's just a warning. I mean, I'm not going to make it all the way through winter with those curtains. They look like they belong in a funeral parlor. You are a much better liar than that. I would be lying if I said I like those drapes. You seem a little rattled. Not that I blame you, because, you know, I understand why you would wait till I was gone to do what you had to do, but I'll save you the trouble. You're not going to find anything. I'm not looking for anything. You really think I'd put a camera in such an obvious place? Not even you are paranoid enough to put security cameras inside the house. Or maybe you're too paranoid for it. I mean, you, you never know what kind of incriminating evidence could end up on that camera. You never know.